cutting out the greeblies um, to go on the back of my armour. It hasn't turned out too bad. Um, I took some reference photographs from the internet to see how I think it should go and uh, cut them out, stuck them on and I have some metal mesh which I had bought from the hardware store which I've cut and put in the back and uh, yeah it's turned out pretty well. I think once it's all painted up. It should look pretty cool. So yeah, that's worked out nice. Um, what I've also done is stuck Velcro on the back here. This is the female soft part. Okay, so it's not going to catch in my undersuit. Um, and I've also then done the same with my front armour. I've put Velcro here and here as well. I do have a bit more of the mesh which I will stick here um, to cover up the vent in the front but as I want this to still be in black um, I'm going to wait till after I paint up the suit before I stick that in otherwise it's a bit of a pain having to repaint it again through the thing just it makes no sense um, so yeah that's been setting after the last few days so that's all glued in with my big bond uh, all-purpose glue um, what I'm using for the straps, these are my silicone straps which I got from Dino in Germany. Um, if you don't know who Dino is, go over to Facebook and join the World Clone Troopers channel um, and look up Dino. You'll find him. He makes a lot of kits. Um, he does a lot of silicone straps um, for clones. Um, he's really getting into this. They're really pretty good. I got some of his first sets. so. They've actually come along a long way since net since this. He's also doing different coloured ones in case you want to do uh, Commander Cody and stuff like that. Okay, so do look him up if you are building a clone suit and you're looking for silicone straps. Um, or you can go over to the 501st clone detachment and you'll also find him there. He also advertised there because he is a member of the 501st in Germany. Um, now what I do have to do is extend these bits a little bit. Um, they're a bit short so I'm going to do that and then I have my other side of my velcro the male part which will attach um, I have these narrow pieces which has some canvas backing which are going to attach on this end and then I have some wider ones which are going to attach this end to go on the back to give it a lot more security and that should hold it now some people don't like using velcro um, I do um, some people like to work to use the press studs. Some people use the Velcro and the press studs. It's up to you. Um, personally, I find it very hard to get decent press studs here in Japan. Uh, I don't know why. It could be just the locality I'm living in. Um, I try not to order stuff online because at the moment the Japanese yen is worth nothing and it costs me a fortune to ship stuff in and then I'm also sometimes hit by import tax as well and it just doesn't work out economically for me to do that. So Velcro or you might hear me sometimes call it magic tape because that's what they call it here in Japan um, but Velcro works wonders for me. Um, so yeah it's a lot more forgiving and snaps. If snaps break that's it they're gone. And they take ages to replace where the velcro you can just replace it it's not too bad so that's what we're doing today we're going to put the straps on uh, once we've got the straps attached then i can work out how we're going to line this up and how much of a tilt i need to put into it 
um, before recutting and shaping and then we can start talking about how we're going to attach these two together um, I'm still in two minds of either just sticking in an extra piece of the back and again velcroing the sides together or putting a key lock system in to sit them in um, both of them may require that you have an assistant when putting on the armor which always helps a lot uh, when you're doing it so let's get cracking anyway right okay um, sorry I'm a bit sweaty I've just been cycling outside um, I'll explain why in a minute finished putting on um, the straps they fit great um, but we have a slight problem and I'm going to explain what that problem is okay first of all this is too straight okay um, in the normal clone armor that you buy any of the ABS ones or you see them in the movies this is curved okay to go with your shoulders um, but the guy who's made this of course has made it freaking flat um, which means that it sits lower on your back um, so it means that your end of your shoulder blades are here um, and it's fitting the, the lower part of your back which means this part is way too low into your waist um, now I'm six foot um, I have a 36 inch waist I would take a 42 sorry 41 inch jacket um, so chest uh, so I'm not too bad for a 45 year old guy but this thing is just way out of shape um, for anybody the person would have to be over seven foot and bigger than me um, and then the other problem is that like it doesn't make a circle okay even if I try to overlap it it's just going to be a weird all the shape and to get it to sit properly with because the, the back piece it ends up being like this I don't know if you can see that okay and there's no way I can shimmy those two together as a joint um, because it's just it's just ridiculous okay and then the other problem is underneath that we've got to sit the the abdomen plate um, which again is this weird oval shape and you can see that um, and so they don't even line up at all okay so, to be honest with you, I've been racking my brains while I'm going to do with this. Um, just my look, the noise. Um, ABS plastic you can reheat and mould, which is not too bad. But when you've got fiberglass, you can't remould this, that's it. If you try to remould it, it just cracks. And then you have to re-laminate it again. I don't have that resources so what I've decided to do is um, I'm going to cut back a lot of the fiberglass and then I'm going to fit it with this um, this is a very flexible very durable hobby plastic um, it's called polystyrene sheets this one's milky white um, it's a 1.2 millimeter thickness uh, both sides matte type okay so it's a matte finish it's not shiny uh, you can see that uh, features uh, superior strength durability heat resistant and no emissions of toxic gases okay um, you can write on it, you can cut it, you can punch holes in it, and you can glue it. Okay, so as you can see, this thing is pretty flexible. So what I am going to do is I am going to, first of all, I have to make my abdomen plate. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut off here and here. Um, now I have seen when you buy the ABS plastic ones that they actually get you to glue pieces on like this and so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put it on like that I'm going to keep the center part and then I'm going to be able to mold it around 
the rest of my body. Um, well, I might do it there, I might do it further down. I haven't figured that out yet. And then I will bond all the seal, so, so any lines that are there, coat and paint it. Um, that's the only thing I can think of doing because if I was a bigger guy, maybe I might have to put extensions on it and make it work. Because I'm not that big, it's just not gonna work. It's just it, I'd have to like, it, I'd have to be like a bigger guy um, to anyway make this work, and it's just not gonna work. So I'm gonna get rid of this piece, which is the back piece, which made no sense to me at all, um, because normally in any armor that I've seen, it bends round to the back, and then they velcro it together at the back. Um, but that makes more sense so that's what i'm going to do um cut some of this off glue this on velcro it right around i know this is not going to help a lot of you but maybe it is um i know some people use in america they use signboard sign si signboard card uh, which you can get i believe at walmart and places like that um, i gather it's a type of flexible plastic card uh, which is pretty durable and a lot of people use it for patching up their armor anyway um, and then I'm going to do the same with these guys I'm going to trim it back stick on the plastic on both sides and then I'll be able to cut and shape and figure out if I'm going to velcro them together or not um, and then I will do the same at the back of here once I put the straps in um, when I velcro these in I realised that normally uh, when you buy a set uh, there's a piece here that hangs down that you cut a hole in so it sits nicely but because this hasn't got it it just kind of flops back um, so what I need to do is again I'll have to glue some of the plastic on the back here to make a little channel for it to sit in so it doesn't flop about flop backwards too much um, and I'll do the same with the back um, that's it so that's my next plan um, so I'll get back to you once I figure out how I'm going to do it all exactly and we start building it Okay, a little update. Um, so it's still the middle of summer here and we're hitting like 40 degrees outside. Okay, so Japan's having a heat wave and that's really why I haven't been doing much of my armor. Um, we've been going through heat waves, we've had typhoons and recently we've had quite a few earthquakes as well. Um, and so this is kind of like put me off doing anything with the chest armor. Um, also the last time you see me, the last video, I was trying to, I decided to cut down the sides of the chest armor and I had put in some plastic which I started gluing. Now I've been talking to some of my friends and the plastic that I'm using just is terrible for bonding together. Impossible to bond it together, basically you have to screw it together and I don't want to do that with the armor so I've gone back to using the um, polystyrene board okay and I've got two millimeters two and a half millimeters um, that I'm using on it so it's pretty thick um, so it's not going to break so easy on me the back of the armor um, in the last video you noticed that I was complaining that the shoulder piece was just too straight so I did take um, a big risk and what I did was I cut off the that straight piece cut out a chunk of it and I have remolded and remade the shoulder piece that's going to show you now. Anyway, 
so the last time you've seen this this was like just straight out the guy who had molded these just didn't know what he was fucking doing basically sorry um so as i said i ended up cutting it off reinforcing it with polystyrene and then bonding it okay using car bondo um, now my sanding techniques are not the best but as a this is just a top coat to see how it would look okay and it doesn't look too bad I've got a nice curve in there now which um, it still has to be trimmed out but at least I'm getting the shape that I need okay um, it's the original front part I said I put down the sides so what I've got to do now is I've got to build up the sides on both sides again with the polystyrene board and then bond it again to fill up the gaps um, and I'm still in two minds am I going to use a key modular to stick the two sides together or am I going to use uh, velcro uh, velcro is fine but it does stand out a bit and it can be pretty difficult to open and close on your own um, if this was a properly made uh, DW Studios kit or something like that um, probably it would be fine to use velcro um, but as this is fiberglass and I'm basically remaking the sides myself I don't want to have the stress that the velcro would put it under opening and closing so as I said I might try and make a key modular system that they'll lo lock into each other um, these are going to be taken out as well okay and the reason for that is um, I have basically just purchased um, some press studs uh, online and I'm going to put press studs in as well as well with the velcro so everything will be um, stronger more secure and so I'm going to redo all my kit once the chest arm is finished um, with the press studs because I need to redo the cod piece as well because I really desperately need that to be in two sections at the moment as you know I have it as a one piece that I have to slide on and it is a pain to get on and then once you have it on you can't get it off very easily um, and it also then means that I'm hindered trying to put the legs on as well um, because the cod piece being in one piece okay um, I think anybody who's skinny enough to be able to just jump into the cod piece on its own probably have it too big as it is um, for me uh, if I put the thigh pieces on then the lower leg part it then it's just much easier then to put on the cod piece But at the moment I'm gonna put the cod piece on first then the thigh armor and then the lower leg and in that order It just doesn't work. Okay, uh, you definitely need a second pair of hands with you, which I don't always have so That's gonna be something else I'm gonna do later on in the videos, but so over this video now I'm basically showing you how I'm putting this together it's gonna to be a long video it's gonna be I'm gonna cut it down I'm not gonna show you everything I'm just gonna show you step by step what I'm doing um, and show you how it all comes together okay okay so we have made some cardboard templates okay this means that I can um, try it out make sure it fits fine and then I have a template to use on my styrene board and I don't have to waste any of it okay um, and as you can see it's starting to look fine i made some temporary straps as well um just to make sure it all goes on fine but um yeah it's coming together i really feel that it's coming together now um this is the chest piece so the, the admin piece part sorry um and again i cut this right back and i said i have the problems with the glue with the last part because it wouldn't go on so again with this i'm going to make um a whole new abdomen part as well with the uh, the styrene board as well um, I have one already made up that I use at the moment but I'd like to have the fiberglass on the front um, just to finish it all off and as you can see the curvature now on the back there looks pretty good um, it's not perfect but you know we're trying to make this work um, again what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up reshaping the armpit hole as well so I'm going to be cutting parts out the back on both sides and trimming up this part here on both sides as well 
and that should help it all out. Um, I already have the. Um, I just had a brain fart, lost everything in my head. Um, silicone straps to go on as well. Um, so they should be good to go. Uh, with the silicone straps, I may end up having to reinforce the back with wider webbing. And I think I'm going to stick the webbing on using other silicone glue. Um, I know some people don't like the silicone straps, some people do. It's up to those who like it, you know, it, everyone each their own. Okay, um, I'm still working out where I'm going to put the uh, amplifier for my speaker. Um, I might try it in the chest, but the last time I did that I had a lot of feedback. Um, but we'll see if we can figure that out. If it's not going to work, I have been suggested just popping it into the back part. And it works just as well because the sound then echoes around the chest. And works just as well I'm so I'm told so I will wait and see what's going to happen with that um, just to let you know what my plans are okay once um, it's all finished I do plan on painting the inside as well to give that a nice finish and then I do plan on trimming um, the insides of the edges well on this part and then around the back as well with black foam um, just to give a bit more padding and then you won't really see it when you're wearing the black undersuit as well but when you get up close you can see that it looks like it's padded out like real armor would be okay so this is little things for me for comfort especially around here um, I do find that this part does stick into my back a little bit and uh, so I would like to put a bit of foam in there to pad it out okay and that's something I have done um, recently is on my holidays now I've been able to find a place that sells press studs, it sells foam, it sells all the bits that I need and so I'm hoping to trick this out um, once I get it going okay and uh, a lot of people don't trick out their armor uh, some people just leave it as it is and they run it into the ground where I said they want this to be something that's going to last me so I'm going to trick it out as much as I can not too much um, I try not to do too much electronics because the electronics fail when you least need uh, when you really need them and um, anybody who works at electronics all the time in the field they just crash they always do okay so keep it simple as regards to electronics but as for comfort for the armor yeah I'm gonna try and trick it out and there's other stuff that I need to redo on my other parts of the armor so there'll be all updates that I'll do in upcoming videos um, so do keep following the channel okay and keep watching but anyway let's get back to this and see how it goes right a little update on my build as you can see it's raining um, we're actually just gonna have another typhoon hit us it's just the beginning of it so any work that I normally do outside has been put on hold uh, I got everything stored away over there to keep it out of the way but I just wanted to give you an update on what I've been doing uh, first of all I uh, got my hands on the press studs that I was talking about there's a uh, tools to put it on and all the little parts that I need and as regards to the armor okay this is the way i'm hoping to have it look at the moment these are not stuck on yet okay uh, um, uh, first of all i just want to give you a quick update on the actual straps so these are the straps that i had got um sent to me there at the beginning of what, last year yeah middle of last year and <clears throat> these are the shoulder straps and the back of them basically had the fabric on it and people were, were always saying about you know oh sure it's gone the fabric's gonna pull away the fabric's gonna pull away so a little trick for you guys is just go out buy some silicone normal silicone and just apply it to the back of it and cover up the strap okay because silicone bonds to silicone as you can see it's got a very good bond you can't even see where it's joined okay now I've trimmed this down and uh, that's it you don't need to worry about the back of it how nice it looks because that's going to be underneath and I've got a good at least two millimeters of, of silicone on the back of that covering all the fabric and uh, you can just still see the imprint of some of it there but that's it you know it's 
that's not going to pull out on me. Okay, so that's on there now. So that should be good. And then sure, if we just start pulling out, sure, I'll just resell the client. There's no problems. Okay, so that's those straps. I did that on both of them. Okay. So there we go. Um, the only problem with these silicone straps is that you can't paint them. Uh -huh. Yeah, because paint doesn't stick to silicone. Now, you can put um, Plasti Dip, but even that just peels off. I've tried. doesn't work. Once it starts flexing, the Plasti Dip just can't keep up with the shape that's changing. So, they're just going to be the way they are. That's it, I'm afraid. Um, hopefully, when I dirty up the rest of the armour, we have to dirty these up a little bit. And... Um, See how it goes, but that's the only drawback with silicone straps. Okay, but these things now should be good. Um, what I'm planning to do is um, put some press studs now onto the Velcro on these to help keep them in place. But getting to the chest armor, okay, um, as you've seen, these are slightly out of shape. Okay, I said this whole kit is just one mess um, and a nightmare. So as I repeat again, I can understand why people say don't buy fiberglass, okay, because there's there's just no perfection in it. Okay, anyway, um, what I've got to do is got to build up the back of these to um, put the straps into the same at the back here. You can see the inside here now where I had it um, cut and reshaped. I want to actually recut these and shape it in a bit more, but I'll do that later. As for the sides, they turned out pretty good. Um, that's how the sides look. Okay, um, I've sealed it up completely and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut down the center and then we'll put in the adjoining piece at the back and sure once these have been sanded flush so once I put the primer on and start painting these should hide up nicely and if that's the same on the other side. Okay, now what I used for this is um, it's two mil, two and a half mil um styrene board so it's pretty thick okay and then for the chest armor so the tummy armor okay that's the way it looks um after it's all glued on now what i do have to do is i need to put some bondo now on the sides of these to smooth out the edges but for the time being what i'm going to do i've cut the back i'm going to size it up and put um i'm going to glue on then some velcro so that will so that will close up then with velcro and then I'll be able to put that around my around my waist Put it over there. Right, so um I'm gonna get cracking now to put the um press studs onto these and then I'm gonna insert the press studs. I'm going to take this velcro out, put press studs into it as well, and uh, re-stick them back in. And then I'm going to put some on the back here as well. Right, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, as I said, doing this little by little as I get a chance. Um, I said I have a day off work now today because of the typhoon, so I'm going to crack on and get this done. Um, the reason why I am putting press studs um, into the shoulder straps is because I want to be able to remove them. Because then once I have um, put the clips on the sides, it's so I had to reseal the sides. Um, if I'm packing it away, then I can put it into two halves, take it down. But the other reason is that now when I go to prime it and paint it, that um, the straps don't have to be on it. Because they're silicone, I don't want them to get them too dirty and messed up um, with different stuff as I'm trying to prepare the rest of the armour. So there we go. So I'm going to crack on with this and I'll bring you back once I've got some of it done. I'll show you how it's, how it's working out. Okay. Okay, so the um, typhoon has gone. Okay, so it was here for about four, only five hours. And uh, it's done lots of damage down the coast. And uh, But now it has gone away. But, uh, so I've got some work done in the meantime. Um, I'll show you what I've been doing, okay? So, with the main chest armour, as I said, I was going to put in um, pieces to hold in the shoulder straps. They've been put in. Okay, mainly what these are is um, EVA foam blocks 
underneath and then the styrene foam I've heat formed around and the same both of them and they're super glued into place and then oh, I cut and heat formed this round so that's going to give that a bit more stiffness now I still have to you know, put some glue in there I might even put silicone I'm not too sure yet to hold that in place and again um, I've got some EVA blocks and some styrene now I didn't heat form these round because the lips on the side are pretty high so I'm okay and that one has been shaven down to meet to match that so it's not too bad yeah okay so it should all look good I'm intending to put foam in here anyway um, for most of this for my shoulders and that so um, won't do that until after I have finished painting it and then I'll put some white EVA foam in there okay now yeah, what else have I done um, been cutting out some key parts I got two of those okay and I'm gonna show you how they're gonna work now um, I have another piece then this is going to get glued hang on that's not the right one hang on that's it there that's going to get glued onto there and then that with the extra lip piece is going to get glued onto here okay and with the extra piece of styrene in there that will give me a gap big enough then for the velcro okay and so there'll be a piece of male velcro here and then on the other part of my armor will have a female piece and because of the extra lip it should in theory um sorry it should in theory be like that then and hold it out a bit so that's it that's my update um i'm gonna get that done now i don't know about putting the velcro on yet because i don't know if i have any velcro and i won't be able to get that until when can i get velcro now at the end of the week because today is tuesday so i'll be able to do that on friday because that'll be the only day that i have time because i won't be working that day to buy some more velcro um so yeah so that's gonna be that so i'm gonna be back once i have a bit stuck on right okay so i'm showing you what i have done so far and uh, kind of finishing for tonight okay um okay so I, as I said, I finished these bits. I've just got the straps pushed through. They're not connected to anything now. I just have them sitting there. Um, the abdomen armor, I finally put it round, and I have Velcro holding all that into place. I still have to um, put Bondo on this and hide the seam line before painting. Okay. So that's got to do for that. Um, I've put Velcro in the sides here, and then um, I've put key points on both sides with the male part of the Velcro on it, and I have enough lip there now to allow for the join and the Velcro to match up. Um, and I've had to resize the inside of these so I can put my strap through so they're wet at the moment I'm waiting them for them to dry you can see it glistening away there I think in the night sky and uh, yeah this is the end of a very fruitful day uh, yeah that's the view from my bedroom I love waking up to this view in the morning So there you have it, that's that bit for now. Um, so I'll come back to you in a second, well for you will be a second, for me it be in a few days. Um, I didn't think I had enough, first of all, I didn't think I had enough Velcro, um, but I did. So uh, I had found some white Velcro that I had, and I had enough, but I'd want to put some more on the abdomen armor around the back to make sure that it holds in place really good. Um, but for the chest part, I think we're fine. I think we're okay for that. Um, I still need to put the prestots in. I know I said I was going to do that today, but I didn't get around to doing it. Um, 
but as I said, uh, back to you in a moment, a few moment for me, it will be a few days, and uh, I should have it all sit together, and we'll see how it looks before we start painting it. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. That's my kids practicing their piano. What can you do? That's life. Okay, so um, I know this has been a pretty long video and uh, I'm going to wrap it up now, but I just wanted to show you what I've done. It's been a few days since the last part of the video and I've been doing a lot of work in between the, um, the weather. So the weather hasn't been very good, so we've had to um, basically do it when I can so I don't always have time to set up the cameras so I'm going to bring you in now show you what I've done so far and how it's going really now my costume my armor is basically about 98% done okay that's how much we've done um, and I'm going to show you now what I've been doing okay so here's the chest armor um, I've been putting a, found this wonderful silicone paint, which I'm using now, which comes in matte white, and it's really great to put on, easy to use. So I have repainted, uh, so to say, not repainted, but I've painted the front part of the armor, and I have been laying down coats of paint on the sides. As you can see now, you can't even see um, where I had cut the sides and redone them up. Um, I need to put that again. But this is. That'll be the kind of break in the seam, that's fine. This is the back part after it's been all painted up and done. And you can still see kind of a ridge there, but um, that's really it when it's just where the way the light hits it. But otherwise it's looking pretty good. Okay, it's not perfect, but once I weather it up, it'll be great. That's how the Gribblies look up all painted. Um, it's turned out pretty good, I think. And once we put some weathering in that, it's gonna look even more amazing. Um, that's just the other side. Again, you can't really see the joints anymore. They'll be underneath my arm. Just want to show you what's going on the inside. Okay, um, I've put clips in and Velcro to hold um, the silicone straps on. They've gone through the pieces. Come at the end, I had put the clip onto some styrene board and then um, put the velcro on top of it and super glued that all edit straight onto styrene so that's gonna stay put that's not going anywhere that's on all sides um, if you wonder this is this is a polymer plastic that I can get here for model crafting um, it doesn't stick very well but it does mold into the shape that I want once it's molded in I can then it pops off and then I super glue it back on again and it stays in place um, I did actually get round to heat forming that round and again then I've put the polymer plastic all around the edges of the mesh to hide all the sharp corners and I've done the same on the sides of where I had built up the plastic so I don't have any sharp corners everything's lovely and smooth now and once this is painted um, it just hide a lot of sins and look pretty cool I think okay swinging it around to show you the front again get the light in there now again I have clips on velcro on the front part as well and I've re covered them around so I said once these are painted it should be good so that's the chest armor once it's all painted up I've got to put the um, wire mesh into the front piece which is going in black and then I still have to put on the four green um, circles which indicate the sergeant's rank uh, on the chest um, as the rogue clone trooper is a sergeant so I'm gonna put those in and then as I said do some weathering in on it as well as for the abdomen armor or the tummy armor as I like to keep calling it um, as we said before we had um, put bondo to smooth down the edges of the sides and then I've painted it again you're not going to see much of this side on on the armor because it's covered by the chest armor okay um so i'm not too worried about those bits being showing up too much but that's really it that's all been painted up um i might get around to doing the same on the inside here putting the um polymer putty in but we'll see how that goes and as i said before the back of it just has velcro on it okay so that's the end of this video now um i'm gonna cut it off here 
the next time you see this armor it'll be all weathered up and ready to go i'll talk about any changes that i've done in the suit and how the harness system works um, for a fiberglass armor a harness system is very very important because the weight of it um, and the weight will pull in different parts you need to have a good um, harness system so we'll talk about that in the next video again sorry this video has been a bit long i hope it's going to help all you people out there who are making your fiberglass armor suits if you have any questions leave it in the comment box below remember leave nice comments any nasty comments will be deleted you can also contact me on facebook at the rogue clone trooper channel as well or you can also follow me on instagram remember to hit that like button and subscribe and as always may the force be with you this is atrt squad reporting in no sign of separatist activity affirmative sir